sparklines. Sparklines are effectively mini graphs that you can place in a single cell to represent a series of data, so a range of data. Let's take the fruit and sales data file and look at how we can add some sparklines just to give a little bit of color and graphical representation. Now a sparkline can represent any series of data, be that horizontal or vertical. So if I wanted to put a little mini graph here that showed our banana sales for the year, then I could simply click where I want the sparkline to go, go to the insert ribbon, and you'll see the sparklines has three options. So these are three styles of sparkline. A line sparkline, so a line graph. Column sparkline, so a column bar chart type graph. And then a win loss graph, which is quite useful if you've got negative and positive values in your range. For our banana sales, I think a line graph would be appropriate. So you choose the type. The Create Sparklines dialog box then pops up. And it makes the assumption that I wish to place the sparkline itself in B14. That's because my cursor was here. And in fact, I do. But it doesn't know where to get the data from to map my little line. So I click into data range and highlight all the banana sales cells. Then OK. And my sparkline appears little line chart. An alternative method would be to actually highlight the data first, then go to the insert ribbon and choose your style of sparkline. I'll stick with the line because that's quite useful for sales numbers. And this time it knows my data range because I highlighted it, but it doesn't know where I want to place the sparkline itself. So I click into location range and click there to get my little sparkline in that cell for the Apple sales. OK and my line appears. Notice there's a gap because there's an empty cell, but we'll deal with the gaps at a later stage. If I were to highlight all the data and the empty cell, and then go to insert spark lines and line, you'll see that it doesn't assume the empty cell at the end is where you want the spark line to go. It assumes that that's part of the data range. So be a little bit careful. It's not the same as auto sum that would assume you wanted the sum in the empty cell at the end. So I'm going to have to effectively re highlight the range, picks up the data, and then select the cell to place the spark line in. OK, and that one works too. Just for a difference with the Kiwi, let's make that on the insert a column one. OK. And you see you get your little bars then that represent your Kiwi sales. Quite a big bar there. That's July and August. And then the strawberries. Let's go insert and choose the win loss sparkline. Gain to go at the bottom. OK. And we see that they're all win values. There's no loss because there's no negative numbers in our strawberry sales. Now you can actually create more than one sparkline at one time because that could be quite a slow process if you have a lot of columns and rows. If we wanted to create some sparklines down this side here to represent the sales of each fruit for each month, we could do that on mass. Let's highlight all of our data. Go to insert. And we'll go with the column sparklines. Now you'll see here it's picked up the whole data range B2 to F13. And then our location range is actually all of these cells here. And then it will map the appropriate cell to the appropriate row. OK, and then each of our months gets a little column bar chart to represent the amount of fruit that has been sold across the range. So it's just a mini representation, graphical representation for your data. We can do the same with our share values. Highlight all of the data here, which is the share movements for four companies across a sample year. Insert, line, Picks up the data, no problem, because I highlighted it. The location range of these four cells here. OK. And my four line charts appear in the appropriate place to demonstrate the appropriate data. The spark line is made to fit the width of the cell. So if you were to widen these cells, you'll see that the spark line just stretches out across the range. Possibly a little too wide for our small 12 values. But that one's not too bad. They are dynamic, they don't need to be refreshed. So if a value changes here in September, perhaps there's a massive peak. There's a rumor about the company being sold out and you can see the sparkline adjusts with a peak there at September. So that's little mini graphs or as Excel refers to them, sparklines.